I got my iced coffee ready to go. Heading over to my park bench in the park to take a look at our last day in Psalm 63. We're going to be looking at one more repeated theme in the psalm and kind of see what we can learn from that and what we should do with it. So maybe you guys have noticed it as you've been reading it throughout the week. It really popped out to me over the course of looking at Psalm 63 so much this week. But did you guys notice the repetition? Uh, it's, it's twice it pops up where the psalmist is praising God as he looks back on who God has been in his life. In the midst of the hardship and the dry times of his life, he looks back and he remembers who God has been to him and it causes him to praise God. Okay, so check out verse three. It says, because your steadfast love is better than life, my lips will praise you. He's just been talking about how he's been beholding God in his sanctuary, beholding his power and glory, thinking about how awesome he is thinking about his steadfast love, and it's those things that draw him to praise God. Okay, the second time is in verse 5. He says, My mouth will praise you with joyful lips when I remember you upon my bed and meditate on you in the watches, watches of the night. For you have been my help, and in the shadow of your wings I will sing for joy. He's talking about thinking back to remembering how God has helped him through so much. He knows he's in a bad spot now. But as he thinks back, he remembers that God has already helped him through so many other things. And in the midst of the hardship, he can praise God because of that. So I love prayer journals. This is mine here. And today, that's what we're going to do in light of the psalm. In light of seeing the psalmist praising God with joyful lips in the midst of his hardship, and it uh, really challenges and encourages me to praise God right now to think back to who he's been in my life and all the ways that he's helped me and to write those things down, to think about them, to praise him. So it doesn't have to be written down. Uh, I encourage you to try it. Write it in your notes in your phone. Take out a notebook and do it. Or maybe you're just meditating on it like David did throughout the watches of the night, just over and over praising God, thinking about him for who he is, what he's done, beholding his power and his glory. There's so much that we can praise him for. Uh, in our life, in our friends' life, in people around us, his character, who um, we know him to be, and, and demonstrations of his power all over, around us. There's, there's so many reasons to praise him. So I just encourage you, take time today to do that, to sit with him and write it and to think it and to meditate it. I hope you've enjoyed Psalm 63. I hope as you read through it today, um, you see it in a totally different way than you saw it at the start of this week. And tomorrow we're going to be jumping into a new passage, new study, um, but more good things to see in that. So I hope you'll join us tomorrow for that.